This is a video for an origami set of talking lips I'll be making today. Move up and down, pretty excited. The first step for the origami lips is you want to start with the color side up. And we're going to make a diagonal fold. Now, the important part about a diagonal fold is you want to make sure that these two points meet exactly on top of each other. So not just off to the side a little bit, but exactly precisely on top. Take one finger, lock it down, and then take your other finger and then slide down so it's nice and flat and then use another finger like the thumb for example. So you can hold that in place and slide out to the corners and that should give you a really nice diagonal fold, very sharp creases right there. The next step we're going to divide this whole section right here into thirds. So in order to do that we sort of have to play a little bit of a guessing game. We're going to fold this over to what looks like it's about an equal third mark. Go ahead and give that a try and then make a little pinch mark and then bring this side over to that same pinch mark. And give that a shot. And if those two line up, see I'm a, I'm a little bit long on this side so I can sneak this back just a little bit and make adjustments as you need so that you can get that nice one-third section just like that. So both of those flaps are at an equal distance of one-third. Next step, we're going to take these points, we're going to fold them up to that spot right there. Right like that. It should lie right on top. It should make a nice triangle all the way across, and the same thing on the other side, just like that. Next, we'll take these two points and fold them down so that they both go to the corner on the bottom side of the model, like that. Next, we're going to do what's called a kite fold, or an angle bisector. We're going to take this edge right here, and we're going to bring it up right up to this side, and the way that looks it's just like that. So it'll, it'll line up all along that top edge. I'm going to do it again on both sides. Just like that. So those are all the pre-crease folds that we need. Next, we're going to open up the entire model again. Nice and flat. And we should have a lot of different folds that we've created. What we're going to focus on are these two edges right here. Go ahead and flip the paper over. So now you have the white side up. We're going to take both corners, on the left and the right, and we're going to fold them in to this little intersection point right there. I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Just like that. It's a tiny little triangle. We're going to do it on both sides. Just like that. The next fold is called a rabbit ear fold. And the way a rabbit ear fold works is that we've taken, we've made this fold right here, and we've made this one as well. What we're going to do is we're going to make both of those at the exact same time. So you can sort of pinch on the outside of these two edges and you see how that brings both of those two corners, these two edges, right up to the middle to make a nice straight line right there. And it makes a little triangle right here as well. It's called a rabbit ear fold. So we do that on that side and then also again on this side. We fold both of those over. Just like that. Next, flip the paper back over again. And now there's two lines that are going down the entire side of the paper. We're going to fold both of those all the way over, just like this. And the nice thing about paper is you can fold exactly on that crease line. So try and make it so that it's not just close, but the exact crease right along that edge. And then the same one right over here. And it's going to, blow, it's going to be a little bit farther than the other edge. So it's okay if the two of them overlap. They're going to overlap just a little bit. All right, so now we have the two sections that are going to be the lips of the model. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick them up while folding the entire model in half. The best way to explain this is to think about all the different ridges on the paper. This one right here is going to be a mountain fold, so it's folded in. This one right here is going to make that little valley little valley edge like that. And we want that to be on the exact, to be on both sides, to look the exact same way. So for this fold, we'll bring this top point out on both sides. Give that a good pinch. And then as that comes out, you can see how it collapses together like that. So I'll show you again once we have it opened up. You can see how we folded the entire model from the bottom up to the top and then brought these 
triangle sections out to the edge. And it's using all of the creases we've already made. So we're, we're not going to be making new creases for this. We're just going to be changing the direction of some of the ones we already have. And the way that works, as you can see now, we already have that talking motion right there with the lips. And you can shape them as much as you want, make them a little bit more full. And that gives you the talking motion. And then we're going to do a couple finishing steps. We're just going to take these outside triangles on the top and the bottom. We're going to fold them all the way up so that it, all the color is uh, covered up right there. So it goes just white right there. Do that on one side, also on the other side, like that. And then finally, to lock it in place, we're going to take this bottom edge. We're going to fold it right up to the corner of the lips, just like that. Repeat it on the other side sort of locks them in place, and that gives you your finished model for the talking lips.